Welcome to our new educational video. In this video, you will find everything you need to know about light emitting diode flasher circuits. Enjoy watching. Light emitting diode flasher circuits are simple electronic circuits that control light emitting diodes to blink at specific intervals. These circuits continuously turn the light emitting diodes on and off using timer and oscillator circuits. Light emitting diode flasher circuits are used in various applications such as indicator lights, warning signals, and decorative lighting. Now, let's examine the operation principle of a simple light emitting diode flasher circuit. Circuit operation principle The 555 timer operates in astable mode, meaning it continuously produces an oscillation. This oscillation makes the light emitting diode blink at a specific frequency. When power is applied, C1 capacitor charges through R1 and R2. When the capacitor's voltage reaches the threshold voltage of the 555 timer, the internal circuit is triggered, and the output signal becomes high. During this time, the light emitting diode is on. The capacitor then discharges through R2 via the discharge pin 7. When the voltage drops to the trigger voltage, the 555 timer is triggered again. And the output signal becomes low. At this point, the light emitting diode turns off. This charging and discharging cycle repeats continuously, causing the light emitting diode to blink at a specific frequency. Now, let's examine the functions of the electronic components used in a simple light emitting diode flasher circuit. Timer U1 The primary component of this circuit is the 555 timer IC, which acts as an oscillator to generate a square wave signal at a specific frequency. This signal causes the light emitting diode to blink. Resistors R1 and R2. These resistors determine the timing cycle of the 555 timer. They control the oscillation frequency and the duty cycle. Capacitor C1. This capacitor works in conjunction with R1 and R2 to set the oscillation frequency. Light emitting diode D1. This light emitting diode blinks according to the signal from the 555 timer. The light emitting diode lights up when the output signal is high and turns off when it is low. Resistor R3 This resistor limits the current through the light emitting diode to prevent it from being damaged by excessive current. Power supply BAT1 this provides the necessary power to the circuit, using a 5V battery or power supply. On the screen, you can see the charge time of the C1 capacitor, discharge time of the C1 capacitor, total period, operating frequency, and duty cycle values. These values are directly proportional to the R1 resistor, R2 resistor, and C1 capacitor used in the circuit. Now, let's create the circuit shown in the diagram by the Proteus program, simulate it, and create the PCB layout.
If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like this, please don't forget to subscribing to this channel. By subscribing, you'll stay updated with all the latest uploads and be part of our community. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button below the video. Thank you.